Ever pondered the peculiar puzzle of why old phone numbers started with letters? The answer lies nestled in the middle of the 20th century, an era of rotary dials and switchboard operators. The culprit? Telephone exchanges, the hubs that routed all the calls in a given area. Imagine you're a phone subscriber in those days. You'd be given a unique five-digit number within your service area. But before these numbers, you'd find two digits represented by letters that revealed the telephone exchange to which you were connected. A bit like a postcode for your telephone. And these weren't standardized. Some cities used three letters and four numbers, others had two letters and three numbers. But the two-letter five-number format eventually became the norm across the country. Now, telephone exchanges could only handle around 10,000 subscribers, a tiny number by today's standards. Hence, big cities had multiple hubs. Take the Ricardo's phone number from the classic I Love Lucy show, Murray Hill 5 to 9,975 inches. In today's terms, it'd be 685, 9,975. The 68, or MU, was indicative of the east side of Manhattan's telephone exchange. And those letters over the numbers on the phone? That's a vestige of this era. Words were chosen carefully to represent these telephone exchanges, as they had to be easy to remember and understand, especially for switchboard operators. Distinct names or phrases were preferred to avoid any confusion. The specific words used to denote the two-letter codes were not standardized but recommended by AT&T slash Bell in their notes on nationwide dialing 1955. Around the same time, area codes were introduced, but mostly used by operators, not customers. As the decades rolled on, the US phone systems began switching to all number calling. This new system didn't rely on the archaic telephone exchanges and could add customers exponentially just by introducing new area codes. Interestingly, this change faced resistance. People were fond of the literary charm of their old telephone exchange names. Groups like the Anti-Digit Dialing League and the Committee of 10 Million to Oppose All Number Calling sprang up to protest the switch. Quite a fascinating journey, isn't it? From a time when people actually picked up the phone and made calls, to today's world of instant messaging and video calls. The evolution of phone numbers, a tale of innovation and resistance, reflects the continuous march of technology, forever changing the way we communicate.